in Scratch, we can go to what we have edited before. So I want you to click up here on your name and make sure you have logged in. And then you're going to go to my stuff. And you're going to open what you did previously, which I called mine Project 602. Click to enable Flash Player and allow it, of course. Um, and I believe that the new version is going to be um, not Flash enabled. It'll be HTML5. So I'm sitting here looking at this project and I want to go into it. So I'm going to click see inside. Now, last time I showed you, you know, how to change the color and move these fellas, but I didn't show you how to do a reset. So to do a reset, we're actually going to make a new sprite, but we're going to draw this one. So we're going down here to paint new sprite. And we're just going to draw a, a circle. Now you can draw with some lines and paint, but if you do that, you have to make sure that the start and the finish are connected. Like if I do that, I can't fill that color. Uh, let me undo. Um, if I do this, then I don't know if I touched the end or not, but then I take my paint bucket and then I can fill it. Okay, so it looks like I sort of touched the end. You can clear that. So you could draw something, but this is going to be your reset button. So I'm actually going to make a, oh, I'm going to put it on a balloon. So I'm going to click a circle and I'm going to draw a filled circle. And I guess I'm going to just make it red or something. Okay. Now I could draw it up here and that's lovely, but there's a little bit of a problem here with this. Um, this dot needs to be on top of this dot right here. Um, the dot, this little square, is your location for your X and Y coordinates. So I think what I'm going to do is probably um, delete this by pressing uh, backspace or delete on my keyboard. And then I'm going to draw it again, but this time I'm going to draw it as, I wonder if I can draw it unfilled right there. And I'm going to just draw this thing. Oh, it's completely black. Well, we're just going to try to line this up and make sure that it's together. Now, the only problem is, is that I am currently in bitmap mode. And we don't really like to stay in bitmap mode. The problem is, you see these little bitty dots? If I took this little ball and I had this ball in there, but then I ended up making it really, really large, then it would um, uh, vectorize or have a really um, jagged look. So we want to usually stay in convert to vector. Now you can see, you know, that's not beautiful. That's got a really nasty edge. So I'm going to delete it again. This time I'm going to draw one and the tools are on the right hand side for my ellipse. I'm going to have a circle ellipse without anything in the middle at the beginning. And I'm going to just draw this thing and I'm trying to get this circle, the dot and the circle lined up. Okay. And I actually am going to use arrow on the keyboard. And the other thing I'm going to do is zoom in. If I don't, then the X is going to be wherever this dot is. So I'm actually pressing the up and down arrows on the keyboard. No, I do not want to turn on sticky keys. That's what happens when you... So I'm trying to get it right. And there it is. It's exactly on top. I'm going to zoom back out now. Okay. And now I can get my paint bucket and I can fill it, whatever, I can have a start. I'm gonna make a little gradient here and I'm gonna make it look kinda of like a ball. There we go. And I can make it smaller if I wanted to, but here's my lovely little costume and I'm gonna just call this the reset uh, balloon for lack of a better word. And that's the name and I misspelled balloon, didn't I? There we go. Um, so you can just draw whatever it is you want to draw that's going to be your reset. I'll be able to tell. And here's the little thing here. And how can we make the size smaller? Well, there we go. I mean, if I make it smaller, then I've still got to go back and line it up with that plus. So I think I'm just going to undo and just make it large and leave it up here in the corner. And this is going to be my reset. Now, what I could do if I wanted to is I could type on this and say start over and if 
that I cannot see that very well. Sort of see it, but not great. I'm gonna try to go back to here, get this. I cannot see it at all, really. So I am going to make this a different color. And I think I can make it smaller. I'm not sure if I drag the edge, I can make it smaller. I think I'm just stuck with it that size, unless I change the font. Oh, how about I just say restart? There we go. There we go, happy students. This, click my arrow, I'm trying to get my arrow move this. I actually think now I can make it smaller. There we go. Now it says restart and it's on my screen. And this is an object that I have now called, let me call it restart just to make it simple. Sprite. So I don't get confused. Okay. So now I'm ready to write some scripts for this particular restart. So when this is clicked, I'm going to want to send this to an X and this to an X and Y, and I'm going to want to reset my background. So it does this, and you can just, the best way to think about this is that it is literally shouting. So when this sprite is clicked, I am going to shout a message, okay? So... I am going to say, and I can click here, I don't want a message one, I'm going to say new, because you really want to be careful with these messages. These are uh, commands that it's issuing that others are listening. So think of it as a message or a shout out or whatever you want to say. And it's going to shout restart, and I'm going to say okay. Well, if I do it now, it's not good, nothing's going to happen. We can see something's executing, but it, and it's saying restart, but there's nothing for it to do. So what I'm going to do with my parrot is I'm going to say, when I receive restart, then I want to go to a certain X and Y coordinate. Now, how can I tell what X and Y coordinate? I am going to take my mouse, and you can see down here is where I'm seeing the X and Y. And you know what? I think I want him to go at negative 188.61. So negative 188. 61 for this one and then parrot number two has to receive restart this is looking easier now isn't it and parrot number two we don't want him to be or her whatever it is to be on top of the same thing so we're just going to say go here and I'm going to put this parrot down here negative 186 negative 74 Now, let's hit the green. Green, 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 green. Here we go. They're flying. And now we're going to hit restart. Boom. That's where they go. Now, if I don't like where they are, um, I can change these degrees. But you can also look at those sprites and say, okay, where is it in relation to this little um, plus thing? So I'm going to zoom in on this little parrot. And I'm going to put his foot right there on that particular um, square. So I can tell where that X is going to be. Okay, so his foot, wherever I say my X and Y is, is where his foot is going to go. Okay, so I've done that. Now the only problem is I also have to do it on this one, if you can do it. And see, it's so hard, and we've got costumes here, so this was probably a really bad idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, so that's what I tried to do. And... Um, Let's see how this is going to turn out. Fly, 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 restart. And that's where the feet are going. Okay. But then I've also changed my color. So let's look at our scripts on our background here. And let's say when this background receives restart, then I want to clear all the graphic effects. Okay, here we go. And it's changing color on me. Yes, it is. Trust me, it is. Restart. Oh, now it's all back like it was. Okay, color, 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 color. Changing, 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 changing. Restart. Okay, so what I've just taught you is how to restart.
Now I'm going to show you one more thing that's really pretty cool. Um, when I do this X and Y, now that's lovely, but it doesn't really work for video games, does it? Um, is that sometimes I may want to have a random place for this little fella to go here, right? So if I'm looking at this and I say, okay, I want it to go anywhere from um, 149 down to four. So as I'm looking at it, I don't really want my X to change. I want it to kind of stay right about um, negative 188, but I want my Y to be anywhere between, let's say, you know, 170 to zero. So I'm going to drag this little cute little operator in here and I can drag it into that little hole right there. And I'm going to say, and this is where scratch comes in because the, you, if you want to remember your numbers, you have to write these numbers down and then you're not ever using those. So you just have literally a scratch pad. So now when I do this, everything's changing and then boom, restart. Whoa, he went way up there that time. Boom. There we go. Restart. And you can see he's going to different random places. And you're kind of learning, you know, how sprites make things happen. And okay. So on this assignment, you should draw a sprite to operate as a reset button. Type on the reset sprite. Sprite should send a message when it's pressed that resets the board. And parrot one should go back to a starting point. Also, parrot two should go back to a starting point. The background color should go back to a natural color as you remove those effects, number six. Uh, seven, one of the parrots should have a random generator to make the Y location alternate randomly when you press the reset button. The screencast should demonstrate with the, gr with the button being pressed um, the green flag, I should say, should be pressed um, to show the parrots flying across the screen. And then after they get across the screen and when I see everything change color, then you should press reset and it should go back. And you may want to do that a couple times like I did. And then the screencast should show the code of all the sprites. So you need to click on each of the sprites and show me the code and then turn it in on time. And there you go. There's 603.